one of these days I gotta make myself a decent screen. A little starting soon screen and so on and so forth. This camera is not behaving the way I'm used to it behaving. Why is that? Give me one second. Let's see if I move it down the this of is. So no one gets a little dizzy from this. I'm going to turn the camera off for just a second. I'm going to rely on my good old butt friend here, Blue Tape. Good old Blue Tape. What can't you temporarily make do what we wanted it to do? Step moving. Now uh, maybe I can just adjust it just a teeny bit, like that's actually worse than it was before. Yeah, that's not good. Hold on, let's try it. Uh, sorry for this. Hey, JD, you may want to look away for chest mode because I know you get a little motion sick. This is not cooperating today for some reason. Come on. I'm really kind of MacGyvering this a bit here. Too much. Way too much. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's try this again. Perhaps we'll cough right now. Alright, hold on. This is not working out. This ancient camera is probably not going to work for me for very much longer. Just as simple as camera. Okay. That is. Nothing is cooperating today. Why? All right. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. It's gonna take a part of your laptop, but for now, let's start with this guy. There's a screw right there, so I'm gonna take this screw out. And I'm gonna show it what for. All right, that is a double lot. I'll try and do this in front of the camera so everyone can see. Tiny, tiny screwdriver, head, big old screw, body. Put the screw back in so I don't lose it. Dur, 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 dur. Now, Got this guy. I'm just gonna take this out. I'm just gonna take the screw out. I'm sorry, I don't mean to for be so frenetic today with this. Alright, put this over there where I won't lose it. Put 
put this little guy over somewhere else where it's out of the way. Open up the legs. That's going to be in the way, isn't it? That's okay. I can I deal with that. I can work with this. The hole. It's a swift stick. The entire setup this entire time has been a swift stick. <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry for doing this now instead of earlier. But things just went awry right before we started I started streaming. So I've got to do it now. It's not how I wanted to go. All right, <laughs> all is good. It's, it's on brand. Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? All right. Let me unplug this so it's out of the way. And then we're gonna take the camera. I'm gonna put it in there, and I'm gonna tape it in. I kind of wish I had a nut that I could put on here. This is a machine nut. If I had time to go through my garage and find the appropriate one, I would. And I would just hot glue it to this thing, maybe. Super glue. I don't have hot glue gun. I think about it. Maybe that's something I should take care of. Get a hot glue gun. Alright, so this goes over like so. What's that Red Green says about uh, when he uh, regales everyone about the uh, the usefulness of of uh, duct tape? If the women can't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. All right, ta-da! <laughs> out and I'll have to re angle it I think in a minute moment all right let's keep it like it is for now and try again Must have broken it. That's not good. Gotta plug it in the wrong spot. it all up by putting a tight piece of tape over a button. What did I do? Why are you not working now? It's not even powering up. Oh, because I deactivated it. It's going to be really embarrassing in a moment, I think. Yeah, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Hello. 
Oh, let's try it again. This time, I'm going to spin it around. Almost fixed. Almost fixed. Just a little bit longer. Extra dumb. So how are the people doing today? All right, I'm gonna put as much tape as the last time on there because that was unnecessary. It's also too low. Too low. All right. Yeah, it's kind of on brand for the build up breakdown because this is kind of building up and breaking down right now. I'm not doing it quite as intended, but let's see. All right, I can adjust this a little bit better. I'm not gonna fool with any further. <laughs> I think I've got it as about as good as it's gonna get. I'll figure out a better setup later. I'll dig through my garage for a nut that'll fit on this, and that way I can adapt Yule webcam to this other environment. Um, oh, there was a little uh, rubber washer that was on the. Uh, uh, Say that, set that aside. All right, mouse, out of the way. These USB-C adapters I'm using later for another project, out of the way. Loppy toppy time. Let's get this uh, battery pack out and I'll tell you what kind of laptop it is. All right. It's another Hewlett Packard. <laughs> um, Hewlett Packards are sort of sort of a ubiquitous thing I've noticed and they make inexpensive computers and they are sort of okay. So I'm gonna put the screws there, put the screwdriver set over there. Is my phone on? I guess my phone is on airplane mode. And last week's screws. There we go. That's three weeks worth of screws, actually. So, there we go. Oh yeah. Three weeks worth of screws, and we're putting another computer to the screws. And this thing is bulky. This is a Hewlett Packard Pavilion DV6700. It is a chunk Chunkasaurus. A big, thick guy. Like, uh, we actually took apart its lower end cousin a few weeks ago. Um, DVD rewritable drive, CD ROM rewritable drive, DVD multi recorder, light scribe, uh, and it's got all the usual suspects that we've gotten come to know and love so far. Except for this guy, I didn't even realize what this, that this was here. It's a remote control. It's an ultraviolet, not rechargeable, remote control. If it was rechargeable, it would have been so much cooler. Um, oh wow, that is corroded. Yeah, look at that, that's corroded. That battery 
is. Those contacts are wrecked. Um, yeah, wow. Okay, so this thing's got a Windows button, a DVD button to bring up the DVD uh, playing software, I assume. Audio, um, your classic D-pad, fast forward, stop. Uh, it's a full screen button, a power up button, up down for something else, I don't know what. Information, uh, return button, mute volume up down, okay. Uh, skip the next, or skip the next, back to last. Man, um, this has been, I've had this for a while now, I didn't realize this is here. Uh, that's pretty cool. There's absolutely no way for me to reuse this, I think. Um, man, I, 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 I want to find a way to reuse this, actually. It's, it's a weird little remote control. But, uh, yeah, okay. We'll just set that aside. I'm going to start by taking out the rubber pads. Now this was a Intel Citrino win came with Windows Vista HP Pavilion, Pavilion Entertainment PC. Uh, so it's got a webcam. It's got a stereo microphone. Um, these rubber pads are popping out like nobody's business. Oh, hey PMR. How you doing? I'll just set those aside where we normally put them. I'm gonna get a gonna get my uh, scrapey spudgy out. Oh yeah, you remember Centrinos? Centrino inside. Uh, graphics by Nvidia. I don't know if that means it had an independent video uh, RAM on a video card or if it leached it, but uh, it is there. I'm gonna clean this out. It's a bit of schmutz in there. It's gonna make getting the screw out a little bit more difficult later. Um, I'm gonna use the flat end here so I don't start tearing away at things instead of pulling away at them. You know, I actually got permission to take apart all those other laptops because they're were all hand-me-downs, just sort of as a formality. I didn't do that for this one. Um, I'm hoping. My brother doesn't mind too much. Um, wow, that is a chunky little rubber pad. I'm sure it was a dedicated ch uh, chip. I'm not sure if it was dedicated uh, RAM. Um, that's the thing I, I always find confusing with, with some of these laptops is, is they they try to do dedicated one thing, but they don't dedicate it all the way. Yeah. Um, all right, so we've already taken apart like two or three of these guys. I think we've got to do is start by snapping out this area here. A second. There we go. I kind of feel bad about taking this one apart because it's really nice looking, but it's also ancient. That's right, I forgot. There are screws holding this bit in place in here. So let's get rid of those. That looks like an aunt, not a, not a, no, that's a one, not an aunt. So how you doing, Purple Monkey Robots? I know it's barely been, it's been like 36 hours. <laughs> <laughs> we played D&D yesterday. Oh, 
I'm actually jumping a lot of guns here. I need to take these out. Um, I'm going out of order for a lot of stuff here today. So let's get these rubber pads out. There we go. go big rubber foot biggest one yet uh, we'll take out uh, this foot here the HP DV5T had five half a gig of RAM Wow okay has its own RAM nice is there a year on this that's my one year of warranty on that but I mean, it's Windows Vista so do that not Windows Vista capable or ready, it's Windows Vista. So it must have been 2005, no, 7? Oh. oh, the model I have here. Um, this is the Pavilion DV6700. So yeah, this is probably like a quarter gig of RAM because I think it, didn't, it came out before 2008. Not much before 2008, though. I could have had a half gig. Hey, fun police. <laughs> Hewlett Packard's mother tells her children that if they don't eat their Brussels sprouts, the Viking goat's gonna get them. <laughs> yep, that's me. I'm a, I'm a nightmare creature. Uh, from computer folklore. I wander the computer forests for naughty children, naughty laptops, misbehaving machines. All right, so that's, these screws are not coming out. They're uh, safety washer, and I could just remove them myself, and I think I will, so I'll set that aside for now. Um, so two sticks. Sticks of what? Vista was in January 30th, 2007. So yeah, so this is at least January 30th, 2007. Machine. Two whole gigs of RAM. PC2s. <laughs> Man. Alright. There we go. RAM's out. I'll pop the CMOS battery out. Oh, that went flying. Where'd he go? It's gonna pop up your rubber bits of spuddy and put your screws in a jar. <laughs> oh man, I am. I'm a scary story. All right. So if this is a 2007-ish machine, this is probably a Wi-Fi G card. Uh, class P digital apparatus, blah, 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 blah. It's probably underneath this replaceable parts sticker. The old. Come on. Full cost. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you got cookies, PMR? I want cookies. B94. Delian 394. ABG. This is an ABG card. Oh, man, I would have killed for an ABG card back in the day. Um, though I would have killed for a great many things. Can't prove anything. All right. Uh, where did my screwdriver go? There it is. And we'll take out the hard drive. I know I have to actually get save this hard drive. This was my brother's computer. There are family photos on here. 
Uh, I, and some of them, I think, die, uh, were lost in a hard drive death, death some years ago at my parents' house. Uh, and some were lost to negatives not liking the humidity in Florida. So I definitely know there's some photos in here that need rescuing. Um, there we go. We have here Seagate, 500 gigabyte hard drive. Damn, that's pretty big for 2007, 2008. All right, let's get this tray off. If anyone has a request for music, please let me know. But uh, keep in mind, I'm thinking something relaxed and sort of lo-fi like this. So if there's something you want to hear, let me, you can send it to me. There we go. And hard drive, the third for the shelf of hard drives. And a big old piece of chunk of metal. Hmm, shiny. SOS, SOS. Okay. Um, also, this had the extended battery, so this had some serious battery power uh, life, rather, when it was uh, when it was brand new. Oh, there's a little rubber pad on there. I forgot to get. Let's get the rubber pad. I've officially got a lot more rubber pads than I do have potted plants that need pads on the bottom of them, so. Oh. <clears throat> Big ol' whatever. Um. All right, so while I'm in here, I can see some screws that I'm going to forget about later, so I'm gonna get them now. see my hairline. Oh man, I'm going super bald. Okay. Uh, I think if it's sparse enough, I'm probably just going to go full Picard soon. I'm not even going to bother trying to find something in between. To work my tweezers under there so I can there we go that's one screw and here's another screw out needle nose on these pliers is a very accurate description went flying somewhere. So I'm going to find a little thing of metal somewhere around the house sometime soon. I usually play the Steezy as fuck channel on here. Streaming. They're really nice. They're my go-to. Oh, I lost another one. Why should be in my beard? Actually, where'd the screw go? Oh. 
I need to put screws we rebound off. Of well, there's a lot of concrete here that will rebound off of. Um, so maybe one day soon I should do something about that. Putting some cardboard down for them to rebound off of and get stuck to. Um, You know what? I'm just gonna accept the fact that I be, I'm gonna be stepping on screws and stuff. Some oh, there's a screw. I <laughs> landed there. I'm gonna be stepping on the uh, washers and screws in the future. So, eh. maybe some magnetic gloves. Yeah, that wouldn't exactly be a bad idea. I mean, the screw bits—they're magnetic, but these guys here not so much. Also, there's a lot of spring and twang going on there. Um. Let's return to the keyboard area. There we go. Pull that out. Pull that out. Um, and put the speakers. And we'll take care of this later. Another one of these bar speakers. I'm just going to play them now. Taken apart quite a bit of HP Pavilion, so this is becoming kind of old hat at this point. Not that I'm complaining, uh, but uh, getting kind of good at it, I think. All right, there's a screw. Big flat guy, and there's another one. Another one, big flat one. And I believe that's it for screws, yes? Looks like it. There we go. Speakers. Let's get this touchpad doohickey out. I don't know if this black tape is capped on tape. It's clearly some sort of anti-static thing. There we go. This is basically just held on with glue. It's still tacky. basically just plastic and some metal foil now and circuit board goes in the circuit board box I'll take the screws that came out of there and put them in my screw tray take the RAM and the Wi-Fi board put it in the circuit board box and this guy too protects the PCB in case of spill maybe yeah that makes sense It also helped probably keep uh, any sort of s static in the air or or any because there is metal here and the speakers are actually no the speakers are in the way the metal the, this was like so and that pad was you the no the pad was here yeah the pad was there so they keep it's yeah that piece of plastic tape the back of it from there, I think. All right, so we've got everything unplugged here. Now I'm going to unplug the, the monitors. Um, and now I think it's time to remove.
this kind of scratches the itch of, of younger me wanting to become an archaeologist. It's sort of the opposite of it, but I mean, you're using a lot of the same similar tools, or you're doing this, a lot of the similar processes. You're trying to figure out what is, goes where and why and how to get rid of it so you can get at the thing that you want, which in archaeology, I guess, means, you know, digging stuff up. How hard would it be to stitch a bunch of laptop screens together and connect them all to one, make one big screen? Believe it or not, not that hard, actually. Uh, I'm looking for, I've got the numbers, I've got to write them down, but I'm looking for a second, a third party, second hand piece of a controller board provider. Um, and... So far, I found a bunch of controller board providers. None of them are getting back to me with like a list of what sc screens their controller boards uh, will support. Um, well, let me actually go back to our tradition of putting the Veritec fighter directions on here. There we go. Oh yeah, you can connect them together with, I mean, they each need their own controller board. And you can connect them together in serial, like via HDMI or DisplayPort in much the same way you would any other monitor and get sort of the same effect where it looks like you get, put them all together in a, like, here's a monitor, here's a monitor, here's a monitor, and you can have one long monitor. Be kind of cool. What I'm looking forward to most right now when it comes to uh, connecting these monitors up to controller board is seeing exactly how far to the edge the screen itself goes because this is how far this is where the I mean this is where you normally look at it right up to here where my thumb is well let's see how let's see how uh, far beyond this plastic the monitor goes based on that I can't go very far. There. Pops right off. Oh, I don't think that was supposed to pop off. Ah, oh, that's the security uh, doodad that you lock in your laptop with. It's just in this case, it was just a piece of metal that was hot welded to the plastic. Not exactly ideal. Oh, <clears throat> recycle bin. All right, so here we have the monitor. Let me. See, how do we get this out of the way? I want access to this screw. Is that it? Just that one screw? for the screws attached to this. There we go. Pops right out. All right, so we've got those attached. Don't really need this attached anymore here, so I'm gonna pop that out. This one actually seems to have a screw holding the power board on. And this powers the, controls the lamp. That's all it does. It just controls the lamp that's built into the sink. Oh, good. 
there it is. Alright, now I'm going to get that out of the way. Put our little manual back there. <laughs> the board loves lamp indeed. in case I bump into it. screws are all out so this should only be held um i gotta get this thing out one second so I can get the rest of the hinge components out. should have taken my kitchen scale and weighed the screws every time I added them to the added the uh, evening's screws to the screw jar I'm sorry why are you not coming out I've disconnected you from the okay I'm not disconnected it from the hinge Extra cautious, as I said before, because I want to reuse these screens. There's nothing wrong with them; they're pretty good. One more screw, and this screen is free, and I just have to worry about getting the hinge assembly out of the way. There we go. We have ourselves a screen. Um, I'm just going to move this over to my collection O screens. second. All right. We don't need the Veritech fighter manual anymore. Now what have we got here? You can't see because I have oriented away from the camera. Okay, here's the inside of the monitor. Sans monitor. Sans. I can use words. Um, nice hinge action. All right, so we got microphones, Wi-Fi antennae, webcam. It's called a webcam. Oh yeah, ma magnetic trays are great, but man, uh, it's the it's the part between the tray. <laughs> Sometimes these things just like to shoot all over the place as you're uh, removing them. This is not held on by a screw. No, you're not, are you? All right, let me unplug you. 
Are you held down by a screw? Oh, you're not. Stop tricking me. Hold on by... You're held on by a piece of plastic that I just broke. And another piece of plastic I just broke. Are you glued in too? screws. Kind of confusing. All right, one more screw for the Wi-Fi antenna. monitor housing has been removed, I can now actually work on it without having to worry about the body of the computer. Let's get these microphones out. I kind of wonder what the quality of these microphones is like. I haven't had a chance to use any of them yet. I want the plastic spudgy. Plastic spudgy, as you don't want to mess with electronics. Oh. Oh, I think I see what's going on here. Do I? Okay, I don't. How did you get in there? There was a bit of tape. Foam tape block thing and now I don't know what kind of webcam this is because the foam block tape ripped off the uh, identification sticker and there are no indicators of anything on the one side of this thing wow okay um, I guess I'll just have to figure out what sort of many, uh, oh, wait, 1080, no, this is almost 10 years old and it claims to be a 1080 webcam, probably 12, probably a 12 year old, um, component, I'm looking at it in my fit, my hands too low for you guys to see it, but yeah, this is probably a 12 year old component. 150 square feet of circuit board? Funk police. Uh, I don't know what you need it for, but uh, check out any old recycle center. Electronics recycle center. Sometimes they'll just have boards. Uh, they can't really do anything with, like they can literally not recycle it or they're not going to bother because there isn't enough gold or copper or whatever in it. Um, where else? You want to use this wallpaper? Yeah, uh, definitely try a recycle center. Some random flashing. You, so you're probably gonna put the LEDs in there yourself, like drill a couple of holes and like put some random random flashing LEDs in places. Um, or are you hoping to use the ones that are on the motherboard? I'm not sure how. Yeah, cool hanging wires. Yeah. Um, 
definitely see about contacting a recycle center or at least a waste management place. Um, ugh, I don't know, don't know what that is, but it is flaking off and weird. Um, I think you could probably contact um, I can't think of anything beyond a recycle center uh, like a waste management service is going to have it but I don't know if they charge you for it or not we used to have an electronics recycling center near my house back in a long time ago when the air was clean and people would eat yeah yeah we live in strange times alright so how do I get it how are you being held in? Oh man, I've... This is... No, it's just plastic. I thought for a moment that the keyboard is being held in by an aluminum tray. Felt like an aluminum tray for a moment there. Alright, you go up that way. You go up that way and stay out of my way. Um, I pop off this side. You are still attached. All right, can I not take the screws out of the bottom? One of your favorite bars has staircase wall covering circuit board. And your wife is giving the green light to do that to the same in her basement. Oh, that's neat. Um, make friends with someone who works in IT at a school or um, um, find a PC building company or some sort of like custom PC building company in your area. Um, yeah, sometimes they'll, they'll want to recycle stuff, but uh, maybe they can throw you a bone every so often if they find a weird ass motherboard that uh, it's going to cost them more to recycle and it is going to, then they're going to get for it. Some of these things still have lead in them. It's not a big deal for you if you seal it with like spray epoxy or something. That lead's going to be trapped in there forever. It's not going to off gas. Or maybe it will. Um, but it's less of a deal. Like that one. Um, yeah, your brother in law's a computer guy for the school district. And your wife okayed it. You have two things going for you right there, Funk Police. Uh, talk to him. Um, I promise you there are computers that they can't... They can't resell. Because they're completely useless. And recycling will cost them more money than it's worth. Um, Uh, some school districts donate these things, uh, but I mean, some schools just dist districts hold. Oh wow, you just came off on your own. So did you. Okay, there go the hinges. Uh, I'm gonna put them elsewhere. I've been collecting hinges. Why I've been collecting hinges, I don't know. Um. Yeah, totally. Talk to your brother-in-law. He's going to have the inside on some parts. If not now, then definitely soon. Uh, let's see, there's another screw in there. Um, yeah, if you really want to get fancy when you're taking apart some of these computers for their for their parts. Um, if you get some weird looking heat sinks or whatever, you can save those and um, set them aside for some 
interesting art projects or something. Or if you really want to, they're usually ch chunk aluminum, or sometimes they're the older ones. Some old computers have chunk, chunky uh, copper heat sinks. You could collect them for re for recycle and get some money off of them. I think copper is recycled. Pure copper recycle is kind of lucrative. Uh, we got. All but one of the screws. This one here. A uh, screw, a screw, a screw. Got all of the screws. And there is a call. We are concluding hex heads. That's too big. Uh, it's not a hex head at all. What are you? This looks almost like a hex head, but it's a little bit rounded almost. It's got a little slot that goes a long, long way. Right, that goes there. These are 5.0 hex heads. What is this? Five millimeters? Looks to be about five millimeters. Do I have the threaditudes for this one? leave on yeah we're gonna have to leave that one up um it looks like everything let's put this over here um, oh now we gotta put the screws in here Oh, I just threw away some this morning. Oh. I forgot how much, how many, how much sci-fi TV production and low budget uh, film has relied on packing material for set dressing. Um, and I got a, I had to get a new fridge because mine's dying. And um, the I had this really cool sort of swordy cross techno sword cross thing that held the doors on in place during shipping. I almost kept that because I thought, wouldn't it be cool to to color that and put it on the wall behind me? But it would take up more wall than I have. And I thought to myself, yeah, it'd be cool if it did that, but am I really gonna do it? Probably not. screw in here. That's a screw in there. Am I missing? Nope. Not missing anything. But I was able to take that out pretty easily. Okay, never mind. Uh, of course, there's probably the recycle bin. Uh, wow, there are actually screws right here, along this lip where the uh, disk drive was, the uh, optical drive. So that's the first I've seen that. Let's get that out, Let's get those out. But yeah, I was thinking uh, I should get some LEDs and I should paint the thing up and I can make it look like some sort of cool video game, like this techno sword and but that, yeah. 
It's for holding hex driver bits. So spring a bit in there so they don't fall off. Really? Is that just going on its own? No, it went on the table. I'm gonna look at it. Yeah, that is what that is. Do I even have any hex driver bits? Wait a minute. Now, actually, this almost goes, it actually fits into the hex portion, but it doesn't go all the way in. I should probably look at what the, oh, I'm a moron. I know what this is for. All right. I think I know what it's for. Yeah. Check this out. This is a flexy little adapter thing. I think it goes on here. Yep. This is an adapter. This is a hex driver, a large hex driver. I thought I'm never going to use it for that's cool. I ha I had it in backwards. It, uh, it I'll just put it in there though. Keep it that way. That's cool. That's good to know. Thank you for telling me that. I've been staring at this thing for years and trying to figure out what it's all about. Um, so I've got all this out. All right, let's try taking this top off again. Screw here. Holding this in, I think. There are screws underneath here. This probably can come up on its own, but won't. And I just bent some metal. Damn it. I was hoping to get not to do that. Oh well. Ride. Hey, I've been staring at that spring. I didn't even realize there was a spring a bit in there, but I've been staring at that thing for a couple of years now, having no idea what it's for. Um. This is holding a circuit board on. The circuit board for the power and USB. Um, I've got all the screws out. I forgot this thing has an HDMI out on it. That tells you at least something about the uh, video card. There we Missing a screw somewhere? Is it maybe underneath this tape? No, there's nothing underneath this tape. There's nothing ever underneath the tape. Why do I think there's something underneath the tape?
missing? Nothing. I'm not missing anything. These are just very obstinate plastic tabs. Alright, let's pop this open. Pull that out. And there we have the keyboard. Bunch of hair in it. Circuit board recycle bin. Alright. What do we got so far? Uh, screw. That's a screw and that's a screw. Those are the screws that are being a pain. So if those come up, it should come a lot easier. So I never play Final Fantasy VII. And I'm playing the remake lately and it is a lot of fun. I'm not playing it on late to the game because it is a remake. It is new. And uh, it's kind of our evening thing here. I, I play it and she gets to see me play it for the first time. Uh, uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, it's coming up. Everything's coming up in the house. It's unplugged. I'm just going to weave that out. Um, weave this out as well. There we go. I, uh, I keep hearing good things about Super Mario RPG. One of these days I'm going to have to crack it open. Um, find it, rather. Can't crack it open if you don't have it. Um, is that another screwdriver? Screwdriver? Yeah, it's the CPU stuff. And... There we go. Just gonna take these out. Put those this to the recycle bin. I don't know what this is for, so it's gonna recycle bin. I'll set aside the mode for now. And I don't know where that came from. But it's all plastic. Recycle bin. Alright, let's take out the touchpad. Yeah, I never played I played Final Fantasy 1. And then I play eight, um, because eight what came on the PS One and it was compatible with. Um, a friend of mine was really into it and he showed it to me and I thought, wow, this is amazing. And then PlayStation Two came out. That was my first console ever. Um, I don't believe I should count my Game Boy as a console. Um, Mario RPG. Yeah, I heard good things about this. Is this? It's. It's the one where you fight like the living. The embodiments of weapons. Like there's an axe. You fight an axe. 
right? Is this just glued in? I forget. Yeah, just pressured in. Should be able to. No. There's a whole frame here. An extra frame. Alright, where's my metal spudgy? Axum Rangers. Hmm. So like the boss monsters are not the are not embodiments of weapons like axes and swords and I might think about something else. The main bad guy is not Bowser, right? Koopa, whatever he's calling himself these days. Actually breaking plastic because this has been sort of welded in oops welded in place with plastic. There we go. The parody of the precursors to the Power Rangers. Bowers isn't it, but the main dude is King Smithy. That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Why did I think he was a wizard? Why, wow, there's two whole layers of plastic holding this thing in. Mashing batter. Could read that repulse up be repulsed by compressed air asking for a friend. <laughs> we do battle a giant sword. Oh wow, okay. You know, on the topic of Power Rangers, I was reminded recently that Avi Arad did a am I thinking Avi Arad? Maybe? Uh did a fan film with, with a bunch of uh, um, with a bunch of people that he knew for Power Rangers where it takes place after um, the, the Rangers have all the Rangers that have ever been have lost the war against the machine army or empire or whatever and uh, the former original Red Ranger is sitting with the former original Pink Ranger, who's one is played by Jason Vanderbeek. I think that's the guy from Dawson's Creek. Um, the Red Ranger that is, and the Pink Ranger is played. Oh, I can't remember. 
her name now. Starbuck from uh, from the new, uh, from more recent uh, Battlestar Galactica. I say no, more recent because they're always threatening to remake that thing. All right, touchpad. Good looking touchpad too. Um, all right, possible reuse pile. Just three layers of plastic. Garbage. Recycle pile. Bunch of metal and a bunch of plastic. No electronics whatsoever. Recycle pile. And now it is time for the muzzle board. Oh, and uh, these are the buttons. And I could try. I could totally try using them. I know how they plug in. And then they aren't destroyed. Eh, I'll stick them to the side for now. Um, motherboard. Tiny, tiny screw from the monitor. Stuck to my pants. <sighs> James Vanderbeek, I think. That disk drive has a laser in it. I took that disk drive out already. Uh, but. But. Where are you? Where did you go? I have a book. I had a book. On. Tearing down old electronics for their parts. Make Magazine put it up. It's gone, I can't see it. It's probably in a box somewhere. Uh, it was it was really cool, actually. Uh, showed you how to take apart cameras, showed you how to take apart scanners, told you every part that you want to keep and what you could do with it. Um, but it, it was like more like a general guide than like, this particular machine has these parts that you want. So you can take it to this part and do this with it. It's more like this, these are how these things work, and this is where they go, and blah, 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 and if you wanted to have some fun with it, here's what you could do. All right, so this is mounted right now to the, this is the heat sink and fan. That's currently mounted to the case. I need to unscrew that. This holds the CPU heat sink on. Um, this is not a plug, that's directly soldered. Wow, that's surprising. Um, this is a, this probably this big chunk of metal here is meant to, uh, as a lever, I think, for the, uh, it's a counterpoint lever for the hinge of the monitor. Man. And the power board is connected to it as a ground, so ground the disk drive as well. Um, oh yeah, Starbuck from Battlestar Galactica. She was a uh, Pink Ranger, and the Red Ranger was uh, working for what was a bad guy. Now it's basically a a cop for the uh, cop for the. Uh, Machine Empire. I had arrested her and it was interrogating her on the murders and disappearances of of all of their former co-workers trying to find the Green Ranger. And you get to find out exactly what happened to all the other characters uh, in, in this post-apocalyptic or dark universe extension. It was really cool. Um, and you can tell that he is something of a fan when he makes fan films. I mean, when he makes these little fan film projects. It's not like, I'm just going to make a film because the fans are going to love it and they're going to love, I'm going to get attention for it. I'm going to make, you know, potential jobs out of it or something. It's, I love this thing. I'm making a fan film. And you can tell that I love this thing. Um, Uh, by the choices I make in making the film, how I make the film.
because I mean you could be a fan and you could make a film it could be absolute garbage or you could be a fan and you could make a film and it could be fine there's nothing original about it or interesting it's just look at my friends dress up as Power Rangers the production quality is sort of okay and we really love the franchise hooray um, oh is this an adapter oh okay How are you doing tonight, Martian Badger? How are things in the old NC? That's a real long screw. Basic metal and plastic, circuit board. You are connected somewhere. Where are you connected? There we have the motherboard. With yet another Sorry, I had to step away for a second because I spilled in true vaudevillian fashion a bunch of ink Athonian camo shade on your desk. Oh man, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> this is time too that you spilled paint in ink. Oh man. That stuff's not exactly cheap either. Alright, let's get rid of. Unplug. Circuit board, can't take the cable off of that because that's soldered on, that's unusual. Um, take the screw out of here. That's interesting. What's this for? Telephone and Ethernet line. Wow, this is made for a very interesting period of time. And this adapter for the casing, they basically just taped this on here with the grounding tape. This is, this is the grounding board slash hinge. Okay. Um, we've been keeping springs, so I'm going to take the spring off. Um, last circuit board from the case, and then we're concentrating on the motherboard. It's spilled on your paper plate that you're using for painting. You're able to bend the plate and get most of the ink back. Oh, that's good. That's good, good, good. Good news. Only lost the fifth to a sixth. That's good. that's better than, than what could have happened. Bright side of life. And 
there's the audio and infrared board. Man, I kind of wish there was some, some way for me to use this thing. It's strange and neat and it's a creature of its time. It's never coming back, I think. All right, the case has been dis disassembled for recycle. Now we look at the motherboard. Disassemble the power, uh, disconnect the power for the fan. I think this is probably the video card area. Yeah. Oh, he dropped a, a pot of corn red. Oh, man. Fun police. That is a red, also. Like the whole pot? You dumped the whole pot? Just a little bit. That red is using a lot of stuff too. Um, I, did I get it? No. Plastic, non-conductive plastic around, uh, surrounding an aluminum frame. Recycle. Actually, I might need that. If I'm reusing the heatsink, I'll go for it later. All right. Here we have the heatsink. It is some beef on that heat sink. So is it blowing out both of these? Or is it drawing it in and then blowing it out? So is it drawing it in from one and blowing it out the other? I guess is the question here. We'll find out soon or one day. All right, so this has become a, something of a challenge since I've been finding these. Um, this will be the third CPU. Let's use this. Number Just glued into place. Lifty Lucy, let's try it again. There we go. All right, here we have an Intel 1.83. So this is the Centrino. done we have all the parts completely disassembled can't get these out I think yeah there it is the Nvidia that's the Nvidia right there and it says um, Eight oh seven A two no seven three zero A two so this is seven three zero. Wow, that was actually pretty good for the time. Um, yeah, that was pretty good for the time. For some reason, 
On the back of the board is a little cable that connects this area here to this area here and it seems to be it's connecting the the phone jack let's see it's going from the phone jack and then going all the way over here I don't know what that is there's a little switch here. And that might have been... So this is the front, towards me. There's a little switch here. Why don't we just look at the case? Oh, well, it actually doesn't actually say on this bit, bit of the case. Maybe it says on this bit of the case. It doesn't say on this bit of the case either. And in fact, judging by the position, I don't think that little switch there was actually accessible outside the machine. I've got no idea what it's for. <laughs> yeah, that was not accessible outside the machine. There's a mystery switch on the inside of the computer next to next to this little circuit board here this looks like this could be the circuit board that runs the phone jack but uh, it's got a massive heat spreader too considering that it's just not being used or anything. Let me double check. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong side. Oh, well, I feel dumb. All right, so I'm looking at it like that. I should be looking at it like this. As it goes in here, like so. That's the power switch. Oh, no, wait, that's the Wi-Fi switch. Okay, that explains why this line comes from here to here. This is all the networking stuff that isn't the Wi-Fi card. So the Wi-Fi would be fed somehow there. Man, I don't know. There's a controller there. Turn off the Wi-Fi. This is a turn off the Wi-Fi switch. This is a controller for that, I guess. Anyway, that's one more machine for the scrap heap, and oh. what do we get out of this? Optical drive, come here. There we go. You need to still get that off of there, but so everything making noise speaker heat sink touch pad webcam hunches microphones there we go let me get my screwdriver and take this bit here off. That's not the correct bit. Actually, where is the, there it is. And another light scrap drive. Will I ever use all these DVD drives? Oh, that is a screw in the box now. It's gone forever. No, I probably won't. 
Um, I just don't know what to do with them as, when it comes to recycling. So much stuff in there. Um, Moshing Badger, what is that gobbledygook at the end of your... This is my... Oh, hold on a second. I see you're trying to share some, uh, some linky links. Let me see if I can permit those linky links. No, I can't permit those linky links. Why wouldn't it let me permit those linky links? thought I read the manual correctly. I did not. And where is this URL going, Moshing Badger? No, no, don't relink because uh, I apparently don't have the permission to allow your link to come through. Um, I don't have the ability to permit your links, so... Ha. Here, here's an idea. How about you whisper me the link and I'll share it on the screen. What, the linky link? Yeah, there's probably, there's probably a Legend of Zelda joke in there somewhere. Um away. There we go. That way. Oh. Um. Well, uh, you haven't sent me the link, so I can't share it for you. Uh, but if you hop into Discord, you can share it there. Um, can you upload pictures to Twitch chat? No, you can't. You can't upload pictures to, uh, to Twitch chat. It doesn't allow it. Um, unfortunately, it's not built for that. I took out a classic spudgy apparently. What did I do with it? Oh, there's a little metal washer that went flying. Um, oh, there's a spudgy. All right, so let's pour these screws into the screw bin. I'm gonna need a bigger bin eventually, yeah. Make it a bit messier too when I'm at it. Did any of my screws go down the holes? No, they didn't. All right.
All right. Four laptops later, and we are about halfway full. And I'm out of laptops. <laughs> um, though next week, since I'm out of laptops, I'm actually going to super pair my phone. So you can hang out with me as I endeavor to take my phone apart and fix it. Maybe I can destroy it in the process. Uh, which would be fantastic. Maybe I should practice on my own old phone first. Uh, but in the meantime, thanks for joining me. Uh, for this little zen exercise of sorts. And I wonder if there is anything I can do with this. That would be kind of neat. Um, but there probably isn't. Uh, I mean, I can just record the, the infrared signals that come off of this, but what else would I do with it? Um, tomorrow I'm playing more Baldur's Gate. Uh, possibly Thursday. Mid, but, nef but definitely soon. Uh, Purple Monkey Robots is going to start doing his uh, narrative uh, video game thing. And he's going to start with Kentucky Route Zero, because apparently they just released the, fi released the final chapter for it, and he has he's looking forward to playing it. Um, and Saturday night, Moshing Badger and uh, and St. Brian are going to be playing some Transformers CCG, kicking each other's butts. Uh, you know a certain toddler would love that as a toy, the, the, the remote control. All right, uh, it's yours, Moshing Badger. <laughs> um, I can't promise that does anything, but, and it doesn't really, I mean, she might have fun pushing the buttons and hearing them go snap. Um, oh yeah, and Saturday, um, Saturday Night Fights, they sent Brian is, is most likely fighting the Moshnik Badger in uh, the Transformer CCG again. And, and then we return on Sunday for, for D&D times. Uh, shenanigans are upon us, and uh, characters are irate. And I'm mostly from lack of sleep. Some people need to sleep. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I'll see you later. Have a good night. Bye.